Breaking updates are coming in. Maharashtra cabinet meeting has concluded and the big update is that Aurangabad will now be renamed as Sambhaji Nagar. This has been approved by the cabinet. Uh, Osmanabad will be renamed to Dhara Shiv. Uh, this is the big update uh, that we are getting for you. So the, the government is on a name changing spree. Uh, it has a lot of political si significance, by the way. For more on this, I'm joined by Shweta on the broadcast. Shweta, since 1995, there are efforts being made to rename Aurangabad to Sambhaji Nagar. And finally, this is a time when the Uddhav government is battling its worst crisis. And after this cabinet meeting, finally, this has been done. For the benefit of our national audiences, could you help us understand the significance? Because time and again, Uddhav Thakre had said that he will fulfill the promises that he had made to Bala Sahib Thakre because Bala Sahib Thakre had promised that Aurangabad's name will be changed. But the big problem is that the Congress and the NCP, the allies of Shiv Sena, are against this move. For the benefit of our audience, could you help us understand the significance of this development? Well, absolutely, Archana. Significant development after the cabinet meeting has been uh, conveyed. Now, remember, Aurangabad name turning to Shambhaji Nagar was a very, very uh, important decision which was pending. In fact, if we know about Hindutva, how it started. You talk about Raj Thakre's rally being uh, being conducted in Aurangabad or post that CM Uddhav Thakre's rally when it was conducted in Aurangabad. Series of rallies were in fact conducted and here Aurangabad holds a very, very prominent um, decision for the makers of uh, uh, the cabinet as well here. Aurangabad is a very focused point. Remember, it's not just from uh, from the political crisis. It's been from years now. Even from Balasab Thakre's time, we know what place uh, this this holds significantly it is also seen that now when the decision has been made uh, there is a conflict in fact there should have been a conflict which was going on for years here uh, Anil Parab in fact started it saying that it should be named as Shambhaji Nagar and in the Agadi government there were conflicts which came uh, after this where NCP and Congress weren't really happy about the fact that how can uh, the name be changed but it's not just Aurangabad getting its new name as Sambhaji Nagar but also adjacent to it is Usmanabad uh, the name has changed to Dharashiv now in fact remember all these name change were also a big kind of game plan which was already been seen we saw how okay. the uh, naming politics were was also emerging just a last month also we saw but right. very importantly three things for our viewers firstly Aurangabad in to Shambhaji Nagar, Usmanabad into Dhara Shiv and the upcoming Navi Mumbai airport as DB Patil. Right. Shweta, please stay on uh, with us. I'm, all jo I'm joined by BJP's Ram Kadam on the broadcast. Uh, Mr. Ram Kadam, thank you for making time and speaking to me now. Now that Aurangabad has been renamed uh, to Sambhaji Nagar, uh, what is your view on the timing of this development? Remember, this has been happening since 1995. Bala Sahib Thakre also promised uh, the people that eventually, uh, you know, Aurangabad will be renamed after uh, Shiv Sena's uh, very, very, uh, the, the leader that Shiv Sena respects and worships in a way. What is your view on this decision taken by the Maharashtra cabinet? The first thing is, this is... Absolutely a drama. Why they have not given this name before? When they are in a power since uh, two and a half years, the timing is very important. They have taken this decision of, for the last minute. What is the reason for that? Shiv Sena abandoned Hindutva. They have dismissed the legacy and the ideology of late Balakshap Thakre. And when their own MLAs are not with them, and they do not have majority to prove tomorrow in the assembly, and that is the reason why now Shivsana has been trying that they are still with Hindutva. This is just, just a drama. If they wanted to, they genuinely wanted to do this, why they have not taken this decision much before? When we have demanded, eh, our opposition leader, they are, he also demanded in the assembly, eh, refused it. In fact, he took a jibe on that. He said, I am saying Sambhaji Nagar. You call it Sambhaji Nagar. But he refused to change the name. Now, he knew that there is no numbers with him. All the numbers are with Ekna Shimne and his government is in a minority. 
on a moral on a moral ground he should resign but he is not doing that he is waiting for the supreme court decision and now just to express just to show it's a facade that shiv sena is still with hindutva for that they are just doing this drama nothing else all right uh, so there you heard uh, bjp uh, thank you mr ram kadam bjp's reaction on uh, maharashtra cabinet renaming aurangabad to sambhaji nagar uh, so bjp is calling it a drama bjp is saying that uh, shiv sena has abandoned hindutva and uh, they have questioned the timing of this move uh, shweta you've also heard uh, bjp there uh, saying that this is political drama uh, because everybody knows what is happening in the maharashtra government uh, the shiv sena is facing its worst rebellion uh, rebel mlas are on the way to coming to mumbai a crucial hearing is taking place in the supreme court uh, shweta if you could uh, take us through the history of it the political significance of it uh, because we understand that this is a time uh, when uh, shiv sena's own team is questioning uh, shiv sena's uh, credentials as hindutva party i'm uh, joined by arvind savant on the broadcast uh, mr savant uh, thank you so much we just uh, had a word uh, with bjp's ram kadam who's called your government's decision as drama he's questioned the timing of it what is your defense finally you've renamed aurangabad to sambhaji nagar could you take us through this decision making process please i think it's just a uh, administrative job in fact you said has renamed it at long long back when honorable uh, vandani hindu hriday sabraj shiv sena prabhu bala sahab thakre announced it in the year 1988 Since then, as far as Shiv Sena is concerned, we never ever called it as Aurangabad. We always called it as Sambhaji Nagar, and therefore it was just the administrative decision was to be taken. And for us, we have taken a decision. If so, if the for this name only BJP was insisting, then the Chief Minister of the BJP, BJP ruled for five years. Mm -hmm. During that five years, BJP also did not rename it, but somehow, only for Udhavji. Has got a success to rename Aurangabad as Sabajar. I heartily congratulate him. Right, Mr. Savant, as you rightly said, that when the BJP was in power, it did nothing. But the question will still arise on the timing of it, because what is happening is that your government, uh, the fate of your government, is going to be decided with the Supreme Court hearing that is underway at the moment. The rebel MLAs are returning tomorrow. There is rebellion in the party. There is uh, there are question marks on your party's ideology. Uh, what explains the timing of this move as you rightly said this is just an administrative move but the timing in politics is very very important simple, it has like the optics that, attached to it hold a lot of significance sir simple answer is that government is a continuous process it has got nothing to do with what is happening outside what is happening in the court so government has to function till he is there till last moment he has a right to take a decision and the cabinet has taken a right decision at right time nothing wrong in that Okay, Mr. Absolutely Savan. Right. One last question, sir. Uh, on mirror Anna, now, we have word been consistent. You were saying about ideology. Yes. For God's sake, don't make fake publicities. We have never left Hindutva, and we will never leave it, our Hindutva. Keep it in mind. It is Shiv Sena who started Hindutva, not BJP. Right now, you may not have the time. I can give the examples, the history examples about it. Okay, historical examples about it. Mm -hmm. So they were in BJP. They were in Janata Dal when Shiv Sena announced Hindutva. That's only the answer for it right now. All right, uh, Mr. Savant. What about your allies? Because what we understand is that the Congress and NCP are not very happy about this decision. In the past, also they have opposed the renaming of Aurangabad to Sambhaji Nagar. How are you going to tackle their response? Now, so far, the fact is that this is your presumptions. Or perception. I don't know. Cabinet okay. takes a decision unanimously, mm -hmm. and I feel the decisions are unanimous one. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Arvind Savant, for uh, your time and uh, answering those uh, questions on the big development.